Welcome back to the channel. Another Crossword video today. We're going to be attempting something a bit more difficult than usual because we have a special guest with us. Hello, special guest. Hello. Crossword expert. Right, link is in the description if you want to try it yourself first. If not, here we go. Right, Bay's home, standing firm. Well, a bay is a type of horse in. Home is in. I think a horse lives in a stable. Oh, stable. Which is also standing firm. Very good. Good start. <laughs> Range small, not large. Pick. Range small. So the small could be the S. Without the L for large. Range. Spectrum. Spectrum. With plectrum, without an L for large. Yeah, Very good. Spec oh, come on. <laughs> the spectrum. Perhaps Merkel's eaten 40% of icing that's used on cakes. Angelica? No, Angelica. <laughs> but it must be Angela, mustn't it? Yeah, there's a, there's um, a thing that they put on cake decorations. Called Angelica. It's got to be then. And uh, I see inside Angela being 40% of the word icing. Ah, uh, okay, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> Flower, gilt edges removed, clutched by gutted lady. Well, gutted lady must be L Y, so with the uh, middle of the word lady removed. Lily. And yeah, so we're taking gilt and taking the edges off and putting it inside Lily. Communist, English, ultimately smitten with posh ladies. Engels? He was a communist, wasn't he? <laughs> he was. So English is E, ultimately smitten is N, posh ladies is Gels, I suppose. Up to cultivate the land. Till? I reckon. So that's a double definition, up to and cultivate, both definitions of the word till. With no humility, half of mum's brothers advanced. Well, that's got to be something to do with uncles, looking at the letters we've got. Yes. Un... Un... Can't think what that is. Uncouthness or uncivilised or something. So that's the only, the only letter we got in the grid that helps at the minute. Clots in kitchens, cooking. An anagram of kitchens, maybe. Um, Looks likely. Clots. Looks like clots is in sort of idiots or something. Yeah. Um, Need some letters in that, I think. Old range destroyed in quiet stampede. It's going to be an anagram of old range. In so that's eight letters. Notes. We need four more. So a four letter word for quiet, possibly. Stampede. Yeah, can't quite get that. I think we need more letters. Smarty Pants, Cold, The French Musician, Vacuous Crook. So, lots of uh, crossword ease here. C for cold, the French is le or la, always. So we got C-L-E or C-L-A somewhere in the clue. I was thinking like... S no, no it can't be. Clever. Well, yeah, clever dick. Okay, can you explain that one? Um, so, um, <laughs> this is... Uh, oh, it's Verdi, the musician. Yes, yeah. Cold for C, Le for the French, Verdi's the musician. And Vacuous Crook. <laughs> oh, it's just Crook without the middle parts, so... And that's the another word for smarty pants for the Very good. benefit of American viewers. <laughs> of which there are many. <laughs> Setter had cryptic clue earlier, father of geometry. No, that was, was that Pythagoras? But obviously that doesn't fit. 
setter had cryptic clear earlier for the Oh, who is the setter? Could be relevant here. Uh, doesn't say. Everyone. Right, because sometimes the setters use their own name as part of the wordplay. Okay. Um, setter. Um, cryptic clue. Earlier. Oh, it's um, it's an anagram of clue, with the setter had is eyed. So it's uh, Euclid, yes. famous geometrist, geometer, whatever the word is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How do you spell shy? That's pretty light stuff. I was thinking like helium, but um, maybe not. That's like the lightest thing. <laughs> How do you spell shy? So like S H Y. Hmm. Any ideas? You might have to come back to that one. Cave in, having consumed most of ale in resort port on the Med. Valencia. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Is it? It's an anagram of cave in. With most of the word ale in it. What moon reveals after autumn in Oregon Trail? Autumn in Oregon is fall, surely. Fall behind? Yeah, fall behind. You reckon? Yeah, what's the overall definition? What moon reveals? There's another definition of moon, if you think about it. We'll uh, leave that to the imagination. Yes. Okay, right, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, there's, there's a few, few things that uh, take a while to. <laughs> That's what crosswords are all about, the penny drop moment. I don't know what this stampede is. Okay, where do you want to head next, special guest? 18 across, looks good. Pulling muscles earlier in inattentive state. Maybe not. Maybe uh, <laughs> skip that one. Let's try this one. Weatherman's line. I weep over a drop of rain. Not sure. Anything? No. I can't think of anything for that. Um, a little belligerent ombudsman in Berry. Now you might be able to tell from our accents that's not my part of the world. That special guest, over to you. Berry. So it could be. Well, it could be Berry St Edmunds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was inappropriate. <laughs> a, a little belligerent ombudsman in Berry. Okay. Um, could be part of like belligerent ombudsman, rent omb, entomb. Yes. Entomb, very good. It's hidden inside the words belligerent ombudsman. So it wasn't geographical. After all. <laughs> when you see strange words like this in a clue, it's often a, a hidden, isn't it? Because uh, I'm not sure what, oms, what part of, um, you know, what, what role omb ombudsman would play in a clue if it weren't something like that. Stir herb stews, they're regenerative. That's definitely an anagram of stir herb, isn't it? Yes, yes. Um, rebirths? Rebirths? No, I don't know. R E B I. I think that sounds good to me. I suppose rebirths are. Regenerative. By definition, pretty much. Um, Primarily modernised, with a Z for some reason, African democracy. Although governors, a strong man called Andre. What on earth is that all about? Ray Elena. <laughs> oh, it's Madagascar, isn't it? Okay, all of this, right, yeah, yeah. You can ignore all of this, it's just a load of nonsense. You're just looking at the word primarily and then the first letter of every other word. 
Although, I think this is a, what they call an and lit clue, where the whole thing does describe Madagascar. Presumably this chap is the president of Madagascar. I don't know. Because otherwise there's no definition in there. Yeah. So the whole thing is wordplay and the definition at the same time. It's quite neat. Mm. Well, this one, 4215. Daft as a brush. Explain. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, well, it means silly. Stupid, so I suppose it will be daft. Bad, a fast is. Um, so the next bit is an anagram. Um, Perfect. Not quite sure if. This good enough. The brush. <laughs> Arrest, finding weapon in Bibliophiles Association. Book club. Book club, a Bibliophiles Association. So arrest is book and the weapon is a club. It's quite a straightforward one then. So what's this weatherman's line? Isobar, probably. I, uh, yeah, it's I and then sob and then A. And then the drop of rain is the R, I think. Uh, yeah, very good. So we have to get this one. Pudding announced by a footballer in glad rags. It's 6 4, but there's no dark line there. Hmm. Uh, pudding. Sunday best. Wow. I don't know why, again. Well, <laughs> Sunday is a pudding. Announced means it sounds like said out loud. Sunday and Sunday with an AE would be the pudding. And then the footballer would be George Best, and if Sunday Best are your glad rags, I suppose. <laughs> Might be a slightly British expression again. Well, we are in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling muscles earlier in inattentive state. <clears throat> Abs is probably the muscles, is it? Yes. Absence-ness or something? Abs- no. Ab- Anything? Mm. I'm not sure. Earlier, um, must be the, the key to it. Um, they might be saying put muscles at the front of the clue. Ah, right, okay. And then pulling afterwards, possibly. Yeah. Right. Attraction? Abstraction? Uh, Does yes. that mean it is? Yeah, yeah. Pulling, um, yeah, it's doesn't it? And then abstraction is an inattentive state, presumably. Let's go with it for now. Distraction, maybe. Hmm. By sound of it, put up with a swine. Now, put up with would normally be bear, but that's not a swine. Yeah. Hog. Boar. Boar, put up with. So, it's going to be, what spelling? Yeah, so it's going to be B O A R, I think. Yeah, but it's the sound of it's near the. Yeah, the sound of it refers to this bit. Perhaps Krypton might make you angriest. Krypton. Is that a gas, Krypton? Inert gas. Inert gas. An anagram of angriest. Perfect. Perhaps Krypton may... I don't know what the U is doing there. I think that's a bit of a crossword as license. Report of low reef in wharf. Wharf can be a dock or a pier. I can't think of what that... Trained Gudong. One working with hunters. Now, if there was ever an obvious anagram, <laughs> gun dog, yeah. Yeah, that's. Fancy Prussia contains name of another country. Cyprus? Right, yeah. Explain. It's a, a hidden clue in 
it, the letters are hidden in the two words fancy Prussia. Prussia itself contains Russia, but that's obviously a red herring. <laughs> so this is going to be key, is it, for a wharf? Report of low reef. Yeah, it sounds what plausible. Is, why is a low reef a key? Oh, it's in the Florida Keys. And it sounds right. like, because report means sounds like. Right, yeah. Got you. We're almost there. Incomplete romantic gift every man had offered up in muddle. Every man could be I or me. Is this the name of the... Every man had, then could be id, I'd. Yes, yeah. Dis disorder is a muddle. Yeah, that sounds very, very let's, convincing. Let's try and pass that one then. So we've got the incomplete romantic gift every man had offered up. Red rose and oh, eyed. Very good. See, that's the sort of one you'd, well, I don't know about you, but I would never get from the wordplay. No, you just have to blunt force it. <laughs> now this one that we've got, I guess it's not rose, but um, rush, something rush. Yeah, shh, it's quiet. I reckon it's rush. Yeah, that sounds plausible. And then we've got an anagram of old range. What about you though? Oh, it could be shush or something. Yeah, I can't think of that straight away. No. Maybe use the anagram helper maybe. So old range and possibly hush, hush, old range. Stampede. No, I'm, I'm blanking on that one. I might have to get some of the others. We've only got one more letter to get out to. With no humility, half of Munn's brothers advanced. Un... I just keep wanting to say, like, unchastised, or, um, but I don't think that's a word. Well, it fits. With no humility. What's humility? That's like, um, modesty, is it? Yeah, yeah. And we're looking probably the whole that's the whole definition. And possibly this bit is advanced then. Yeah. Hastened, unchastened, so it could unchastened, be. Unchastened, yeah. Isn't that, is yeah. that what you just said? I said unchastised. Oh, near enough. I think you're uh, that's that that that's not definitely sounds right now. So that is half of mum's brothers, unc uncles advanced, means put it at the front. I oh know, advanced is hastened, yeah, and the whole thing is no, yeah, you get the idea. What is this? Maybe it isn't Rush. Um, what was this one? How do you spell shy? That's pretty light stuff. How do you spell shy? It's a strange one, isn't it? Clots in kitchens cooking. So this could be an anagram because we've got the C and the E. Yeah, should we try the anagram helper? And we're looking for something that means clots, are we? Yeah. So it probably ends in S. Thickens. Thickens. Didn't even need the anagram helper. So that's just an anagram of kitchens that means clots. So we've got an S here then. S. That's 
pretty light stuff. Shandy. S H and Y. Uh, yeah. How do you spell shy? S H and Y. Very good. And shandy is a very light drink. Right. The old range destroyed in quiet stampede. So the quiet is hush then. And the rest of it is old range. But they've got an L. With, if they got old, oh yeah, that's got an L in it. Old range. So what letters have we got put in? O, D, and no. I was going to say Highland Rush, but that doesn't fit. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be something land, isn't it? So that, that doesn't really leave any what letters much that left for the leaves. Uh, what does that leave? A G. And an E? Yeah, that doesn't, doesn't really quite go. Headlong rush, possibly. Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds... Uh, H E. Plausible. Yeah, if you think. Worth, worth a shot. Right. There we go. Finish the grid. Now, shall we click? Check I all? Think, I think that's... Uh, the only the only way forward <laughs> here we go we did it we did it that's well that's quite a uh... <laughs> so do let us know how you got on in the comments special guests would love to read them so that's it let us know what you thought thank you special guest for joining me today thank you see uh, you next time like and subscribe <laughs>